Have you told your friends that you see ghosts? Oh, absolutely not. Gina Rodriguez returns in Not Dead Yet. I'm back, baby. Who is that? Oh, she's the obituary writer. And Brad Garrett joins the brilliant ensemble cast. Titan, Maverick, Titan of all Mavericks. These are all words used to describe me. Baby, I got you shook. Got you shook. Not Dead Yet. Season premiere tonight, 8 30, 7 30 Central on ABC and stream on Hulu. It's the Happy Families Podcast. It's the podcast for the time poor parent who just wants answers now. And when we can actually read one another and say, I know you've given everything you've got. I've got more to give right now. I'll take care of the kitchen. I'll look after dinner. I'll look after the kids. I'll take the dogs for the walk. I'll do the thing. To me, that's the secret. That's the, I'm showing up with my 100%. 100% of what I've got. And now here's the stars of our show, my mum and dad. So just recently you sent me a clip from Brene Brown. It's been doing the rounds. Uh, It's been... In fact, not just doing the rounds. It's gone absolutely viral. It's blown up all over the place. Are you going to, like, introduce us? Are you going to start the podcast? We've started. Hello, I'm Justin. I'm Kylie. We are um, the Coulsons, and and this is the Happy Families Podcast. You sent me this clip from Renee Brown about a 50-50 marriage. Uh, She's saying that marriage is not 50-50. It doesn't work like that, and I thought we should play it because the whole world has just about heard it and has gone nuts in social media, and and I just think we need need to have a conversation about it. Everyone says marriage should be 50-50. It's the biggest crock I've ever heard. It's never 50-50. Yeah. Ever. And so what we do is we quantify where we are. So if Steve comes home and he'll be like, I got 20. Just in terms of energy. Just energy, investment, kindness, patience. I'm at a 20. And I'll be like, I'll cover you. I got you, brother. Like, I'll pull the 80. Sometimes we come home, which we have done a lot. My mom has been sick. And I'll say, I've got 10. And Steve would like two days ago said, I'm riding a solid 25. So we know that we have to sit down at the table anytime we have less than 100 combined and figure out a plan of kindness toward each other. Oh, I love that. Yeah, because the thing is, marriage is not something that's 50-50. A partnership works when you can carry their 20 or they can carry your 20. And that when you both just have 20, you have a plan where you don't hurt each other. So I'm going to say straight off the top, I love it and I also hate it. It's both. <laughs> I know that you struggle with all of the numbers and the quantifying of percentages. Oh, yeah, totally, totally. Like the whole 50-50 thing, that, that just doesn't resonate for me at all. One of the things that I have loved about our relationship is we have always strived to bring 100% to the table. Yeah, so when, I mean, the, the narrative that I grew up with was that if you only give 50%, if you, if you both walk in and say 50, 50 plus 50 equals 100, if I only gave you 50%, you would feel that. You would know that. And you would feel like I was only giving you half of me, half of my heart, half of my enthusiasm, half of my loyalty, half of my energy. And, and that could not possibly ever be good for our relationship. So I do have an issue with the numbers. Maybe that's the only issue I have with the way she's describing it. But the whole 50-50 thing, no, it's 100-100. Um, in fact, sometimes... And, and two 100s make a, a, a stronger, better whole. Yeah, like the two 100s actually add up to 100%, I guess, which is kind of... the ma- Mathematically, it doesn't work, which is why she's saying 50-50. But just if I don't show up with 100%, you can feel it. When I walk into the house and I'm not 100% present, when I'm not 100% showing up, you'll usually say something to me. You'll encourage me to either get off the phone or you'll encourage me to come and help instead of, I don't know, being slothful and doing things that are not contributing because you want 100% from me. You, you want that. And I feel the same way with you. When you um, are caught up on your phone or when you're, I don't know, watching some Netflix and there's – like I'm working my tail off. I'm running around doing all this stuff and you're sitting there, which happens like once in never. I mean, it, it doesn't really happen very much at all. But when that sort of stuff happens, I'm kind of going, hang on, I'm giving 100% here. I'm giving everything that I've got. And what, what are you doing? Like, this is not fair. Um, so the whole 50-50 thing, I really struggle with because I've just grown up believing that you don't bring 50% to your marriage. You bring 100% to your marriage. So if we can just leave the numbers out of the conversation, I think the acknowledgement that from time to time, each of us is not able to bring our 100% to the table. Yeah, my 100% today is going to be different to my 100% on Sunday or next Thursday or whatever it is. Like my 100% 
on one day might be the equivalent of 70% on another day or 20% on another day, but it's still my 100% so long as I'm showing up with it, right? And I think that that is just, it's such a powerful concept to think about and believe. If we're in a partnership, and I love how she uses that word, a partnership, which means we actually come together, we partner together to support and help our family to grow and flourish, then I have to believe that in spite of the fact that today what you're bringing to the table may not be what I have experienced in the past, that you are still giving me your 100% today. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. And you can tell whether somebody's showing up with everything. Like you can tell by looking at me whether I'm, I'm completely spent uh, and, and I've had a massive day or a massive week and I've got I've got nothing to give. You can tell just by looking at me and, and, and likewise with you. And, and what I've found works in our relationship has been for me to step in and say, it looks like you've had a really rough day. Would you like me to take over? Or just, I just take over. I might even say to you, why don't you go and just lay down, go and read a book, go and do something. And when we can actually read one another and say, I know you've given everything you've got. I've got more to give right now. I'll take care of the kitchen. I'll look after dinner. I'll look after the kids. I'll take the dogs for the walk. I'll do the thing. To me, that's the secret. That's the, I'm showing up with my 100%. 100% of what I've got. Even if it's only 20% of normal, I'm showing up with 100% of what I've got because I'm committed to contributing. I'm not not here to be lazy. I'm not here to let people down. I think the challenge comes when as a partnership, one person feels like they're always carrying the other person yes and it doesn't feel like there's an equal share like when you don't feel like someone's got your back because you have to have their back all the time it's never going to be an equal share though this is the thing like and and we've got so much data on the division of labor around around a household but just because i'm okay so in terms of division of labor honestly if if you were to look at how much i vacuum iron cook clean make beds scrub showers clean toilets um, do domestic duties, okay? We're not going to talk about child-related stuff, just the clean-up in the house and the meal prep and all that sort of stuff, the shopping, blah, 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 blah. What percentage would you say I'd do? <laughs> you really want me to say? Well, I'm nervous now. <laughs> I, I, I was reasonably confident that you were going to give me a glowing report. What percentage would you say that I do? Really? Yes. <laughs> You're taking a long time to give me an answer here. <laughs> On average, I would say you do about 10 to 15% of the household. Wow. Wow. Are we including lawn mowing in there? No, no, no. 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 So, we're cl- including just indoor. Wow. 10 to 15%. Yes. Yeah. So, you're saying that you do 85 to 90%. Yeah. Really? <laughs> really? So I, I was still going to give myself low marks. I would have said that I do about 20 to 25%, but I'm a solid 10% above where you are, like in terms of your evaluation of me. It, let, let's, let's say you're right though. Let's say that I'm doing 10 to 15% of the domestic duties. And that's the way it's worked in our home. Um, when it comes to looking after the outside of the house, what percentage of that am I doing? Oh, 95%. Oh, I, would, I would have said 100%. When was the last time you even picked up some leaves? I weed. <laughs> yeah, I guess you do. You weed twice a year. <laughs> um, excuse me, who did the pruning? Um, I did the pruning, thank you. Let, let's not get caught up in the details here. We're, we're just talking roughly. So no matter what we look at, though, we're, we're saying my contribution plus your contribution equals more than 100%. In spite of that, we never get 100% of everything done. And when we look at studies on this topic, we find this consistently. The two people in the partnership, the relationship, the marriage, they always think that they're doing more than they're doing or, they're, or they think that the combined total of what they're doing is well beyond 100%. It's 110, 120%. But if I was to say, uh, what contribution am I making versus you in, when it comes to providing and doing the work hours, the, the, the paid employment hours that pay for the mortgage and pay for the cars and pay for the all that sort of stuff, what percentage would you put on – on my shoulders there. You're 100%. Right. Okay. And so I guess the interesting thing about this conversation, therefore, is how do you ever work out what is 50-50 or what is 100-100? Because I, I think if you spend your time trying to do that, then you've actually missed the point. The, the relationship is doomed, is what I would say. The relationship because is doomed. Because whenever I'm focused on the fact that you only do 10%, I see a deficit in our right. relationship. Right. 
I don't actually see you coming to the table and bringing your very best. The reason you only do 10% is because you are our breadwinner, 100%. You're not in the home all day, every day. You're out working. And in your instance, you're actually traveling a lot. So I don't see the fact, I know you feel like it's a harsh mark, but I don't see that as a deficit in our relationship. So let me let me spin to the next thing then, and that is, I imagine you're working full time as well, working full time in paid employment, because so many of our listeners right now are in full time or at least part time employment, and so the load shifts really heavily. Uh, new new data out from the Australian Institute of Family Studies shows that in in families in households where there are children, women usually do up to sixty percent of tasks. Uh, it drops to about 5% for men. So there's still a whole lot of stuff just <laughs> not being done. Um, there's there's a, a really unfair division of labor. When I show up or when you show up, but we don't really show up, what Brene Brown's saying and what I really love about what she's saying is you've got to have a plan for this. You've, you've actually got to be able to communicate where you're at and trust that that 20% or that 20 or whatever whatever the number is, that that 20 is everything you've got. It's not like you're saying, yeah, I, I just don't feel like doing more than 20 tonight. I don't feel like doing more than 10 tonight. It's all I've got is 10 or all I've got is 20. To me, that's the critical thing. And I think in the early stages of our relationship, I think it was much easier for us to bring 100% to the table yes. more often. Yes. And We're when, getting older and tired. When, when you were struggling, for instance, I was able to carry that because I was fresher, yeah. <laughs> younger, had more sleep. And yet as we've gotten older and the challenges and the stresses have increased with age and oh, – Just responsibility Responsibility. In life. Yeah. I'm finding that it's harder and harder for you and I to be able to carry each other because the burdens that we individually carry feel so immense. Yeah. What I love about Brene's comments is that it's a conversation starter. Yeah. It's an opportunity to sit down as a partnership and look at the three things that we talk about all the time in our family. What's going well? What's not going well? And how can we improve? Like where are the areas that we need to kind of come together with a solid plan to make family life better? Yeah. Yeah. The the idea that um, what, what's my plan of kindness when I'm at less than 100? It's, it's a nice idea. What's my what's my plan for uh, my investment, my, my energy allocation when I'm at less than 10. <laughs> like how, how are we going to work this out together? You know, if you've got two, two partners working in the home, then working out when you're coming home and you've only got a solid 10 <laughs> between you, what is the most important thing that needs to be done before you head to bed? The pizzas have to go in the oven, frozen pizzas in the oven. And, and just leave it at that. Yeah. You, you, you can't do everything when you're working on a 10. Yeah, fried eggs. Uh, I mean, last night I was um, speaking and you uh, were on your own. And um, when I checked in with you on my way home, I said, what did you have for dinner? And you said, toast. Toast. Because sometimes that's all you've got. So that's all you have. Uh, what matters though is that I, I, I'm, I really think this is the key thing, that you show up. You show up with everything that you've got. And if all you've got is 10 or 20 or 30, or who cares what the numbers are really? If if all you've got is X, then you show up with X. You don't show up and say, well, I've got X, but I'm only going to give you half of that because I really want to spend some extra time on Facebook tonight. I want to spend some extra time on my on my social media feed. No, that's that's not okay. We want people to show up and give their, their heart and their soul, 100, 150% of, of what they've got. I think the real word, you've just said it, it's a heart. It's th that you give your whole heart and whatever that looks like in that moment, it means that I also, in giving everything that I have, offer you compassion. If I can offer you compassion in that moment, recognizing that you are doing the very best you can in spite of the fact that I need more yep. <laughs> from you in that moment, then my love for you continues to grow and my ability to work with you with whatever we're able to collectively bring to the table. Life's better. I came across a blog about 10 years ago. I've just looked it up again now while you were chatting. Seth Adam Smith wrote this thing. He said, marriage isn't for you. He, um, he, he said, having been married only a year and a half, I've recently come to the conclusion that marriage isn't for me. 
And then he says, but don't make any assumptions. Keep reading. And essentially, he gets to this point where he's trying to work out, do I, don't I marry Kim? Uh, is it a good idea? Is it a bad idea? Is she going to make me happy? And he's talking to his dad about his concerns. And his dad says, son, uh, you're being selfish. So I'm going to make this really simple. Marriage isn't for you. You don't marry to make yourself happy. You marry to make someone else happy. More than that, your marriage isn't for you. You're marrying for a family, uh, not just for the in-laws, but for your future children. Who do you want to help you raise them? Who do you want to influence them? Marriage isn't for you. It's not about you. Marriage is about the person you married. I really like some of that. There's a little bit that I don't love as well. Uh, Like you don't marry to make somebody else happy. That could potentially be a way to be miserable. But you and I married and my overarching objective is to make sure that you feel great in our marriage. And that's how I bring my 100%. Even if I'm only doing 10 or 15% of the housework, which I still (laughs) contend is not fair. Um, It's me saying, how can I... How can I make a difference for you today? That's, to me, what uh, Brene's kind of getting at. And like I said, I, I don't love the numbers, but I love the principle. And, um, and I'm glad you sent it to me. Thanks, honey. The Happy Families Podcast is produced by Justin Rulon from Bridge Media. Craig Bruce is our executive producer. For more information about making your family happier, uh, you can follow Brene, of course. Uh, but check out what we do at Dr. Justin Coulson's Happy Families on Facebook or happyfamilies.com.au. Happy Families.